You know, as I was reaching for this final box to do, the one that actually is current, the one that arrived like last week or something, it hit me. I was like, oh yeah, I, need, I usually do take pictures for thumbnails and stuff. And then I'm like, you know what? Every single thing that I've opened looks the exact same and I'm wearing the same freaking shirt. So I'm just going to take this one thumbnail and just use that one. So it's going to look like this. And that's going to be the thumbnail that you're going to see on like six different videos with a slightly different title. Maybe I should hold this. Maybe I'll hold this up here so that way I can get the words at the bottom. Yeah, let's try this again. That one's, that one's going to work because, you know, text across the bottom. It'll make a little more sense than having to cram it all up here. So, either way, either way, we're on to the last one. We're on to the last one, people. I finally did it. Finally got through these. Been recording videos for like the last, let's see, this is number, what is this? One, two, three, four. I feel like there was six altogether. They've been averaging out to be about like seven minutes long. What is six times seven? 42, right? So yeah, for about the last, well, I guess minus this one. So anyway, it's about the last half hour, 35 minutes, something like that. I've been recording these videos, standing here talking to myself. Kind of talking to you, but mostly talking to myself. Let's be honest, right? This isn't live. Anyways, let's get into it. So there is the spoiler side of the card. Go ahead, take a gander at that. See what you see. And now we move him over there. So first thing first, we start with the shirt because those are always on top and it makes no sense to pull them out just to get to other things. So this right here, Kenny Omega shirt in the style of, what is that dude's name? Akuma? No. Somebody from uh, Street Fighter. So there you go. Give you a nice little close-up look, kind of, sort of. I was never a big Street Fighter guy. Like, I mean, I like number two. And, like, I don't know, there was, like, a million versions of Street Fighter 2. And then I also played the new Challengers a lot with, like, T-Hawk and Vega, maybe? And Cammy and someone else? But either way. After that, it just kind of died down because I didn't really own them. I was just borrowing them from friends because, you know, when you're little and you don't have money, you just don't play things that you don't have. That's just how it works. So anyways, this, maybe that's Akuma. Maybe that is the dude's name. Either way, if you know, if you, I don't know if Derek Armstrong is watching this, he'll probably know. I feel like he might be a Street Fighter guy or just know enough about it. But anyway, so yeah, it's a cool looking shirt to me, right? So there's that one moving right along. Almost knocked this box over. People would have been disastrous. Not really. I just would have had to like bend slightly further down to pick this up. All right. And this says rated R, right? Yes, it does. Rated R, living on the edge since 1998. Has it really? Hmm. Yeah, I guess it has been that long. I remember when that whole thing started with him and like the brood and coming out of the floor with, you know, gang rolling Christian that had their little white pirate shirts on or their puffy shirts like they would be called on Seinfeld. If anybody's a Seinfeld fan, that's cool. That's real cool. All right, so yeah, rated R, right? I guess um, part of the thing, from what I heard anyway, was that they were super, well, they, AEW, was super close to getting Edge to sign with them, but then he took more money, and next you know, he's at the Royal Rumble, right? And now he's going off to fight Randy Orton, which... I assume I'll get to see live if it actually comes together and happens at WrestleMania like it likely will. But anyway, so yeah, now I have a rated R superstar shirt, right? So that's cool. Um, you know, there's, I do plan on going to a Washington Wizards game soon. Not because I like the Wizards, but if they play against the right team, then it makes sense. And the Raptors are going to be in town in like May or something like that, I guess. I don't know. Maybe March. I don't know. The Raptors are going to be playing them soon, and I like the Raptors, so I figure, I mean, I'll go up there and support them, which is weird, because, like, as a somewhat local kind of guy, I feel like I should go for the home-ish team, but it's the Raptors, though, and I've been a fan of them since 96, right? So, you gotta go with what you know, you know? All right, so, yeah, I'll be up there in my little Bret Hart shirt, or my Edge shirt, and my little Raptors hat that you see me wearing from time to time supporting them hey check that out speaking of bret hart right here bret hart so that's cool i like this guy he's an all right dude I get it that he's mad a lot of the time but he's been through enough to have a lot of reasons to be a little mad 
Honestly, probably reasons to be madder than he actually is. Which is unfortunate, you know, because that anger is probably taking years off of his life if you're to believe what you hear in science about, like, aggression and anger and eating it up inside and all that stuff. I don't know. I try not to be, like, a mad, angry guy. I try to kind of put the negativity somewhere else and be more on the positive side. So who knows? Does that mean I'll live forever? That just reeks of patience and effort. So quote from Bayside. If you listen to Bayside, that's cool. It's like watching Seinfeld. All right, and now this, Canada's finest. So you've got Rowdy Roddy Piper, you've got Owen Hart, you got, I think, maybe that's PCO in the middle. And then you've got Lionheart Chris Jericho. I say that because it looks like it's the older Chris Jericho. So this is something. Let's see, it says it's featuring Rick Martel, Jacques Rougeau, Ivan Koloff, Christian, PCO, Kevin Owens, Edge, Owen Hart, Kenny Omega, Rowdy, Roddy Piper, Bret Hart, and Chris Jericho. So, honestly, like, can they, Canada, I always want to say Canada. Canada has some of the, the finest wrestlers. So, this is, one of these days I'm actually going to watch some of these videos. I say that all the time, you know, and I mean it in my head. Like, I want to mean it anyway. But at the same time, as I hear the words come out, it's like, you know dang well, Tristan, you are not about to put this DVD in your PlayStation and watch it. But I would like to. I really would. I really would. All right. Moving on. Moving on. Tales from the Road. I have no idea what this thing is. But it's by J. Christian Rezzo. So, I'm guessing it's a comic that he made, which gives me a bit of interest in it. So, there's that. It looks kind of like the Walking Dead things. I don't know, I wonder who did the editing. Or not the editing, but the drawing on it. It's probably written in here somewhere. But, yeah, save that for later. For maybe for a rainy day. It's actually a rainy day right now. I keep getting these alerts on my phone. It's like, hey, there's a flood watch. Hey, there's a tornado watch. And I'm thinking, like, that does not sound like a winning combination. It's like, it's like a hurricane, but on land, you know? So stand back, right? You get the... You get the uh, Anyways, moving on. What is this? Is this upside down? It was. Now it's not. That right there. You see that? That's Kevin Owens. It says Steen, though. Because, like, back in the day when he was Kevin Steen, he was a different man, you know? A little more violent, apparently. They That's when they had the kill, Steen kill shirts. Now they have, like, stun, Owens stun. Kind of like how Mick Fol or Cactus Jack used to have, like, the wanted dead in the picture, right? Then, when he went to, you know, the PG world, it was like, wanted dead or alive, because you can't really imply killing people all the time, because it's not always okay. So, there's that. You know, sometimes you just gotta switch things up to appease people that I feel don't really matter a whole lot. You know, I think you just do what you, you're gonna do. But, you know, I get it. I'm not a business. They are. Eh. And now, last but certainly not least, I don't think... Oh, definitely not least. Right there. Tyson Kidd. Man, like, I still... Now, I'm not going to say I have anything against Samoa Joe, but the fact that he came along and kind of messed up Tyson Kidd bothers me. Even though... It, no, it wasn't like an intentional thing. You know, he didn't go in there trying to hurt him. He just did. But it broke up a really good tag team of him and Cesaro. And... Then it just took Tyson Kidd out, who was a dude that I liked to see wrestle because he's just really good. I saw I saw them at it might have been Survivor Series 2015. I don't know. I went to all the major pay per views that year except for SummerSlam because it just didn't work out. One of these days, I'm hoping to make that actually happen where I hit all big four, right? You know, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, Survivor Series. That 2015, I'm so close, so close, 75%. You know, if I made it to SummerSlam, I could have seen Arrow versus Cody. Or, what was he called? Uh, Stephen Amell versus Stardust, whatever. But it didn't happen. Anyways, I've done it, I've finished. Thank you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. This video is a little longer than the last one, but it's still under 10 minutes. If I stop this right now, we'll still got a few seconds to spare. So, later, people.